The bottom-up economic transformation agenda recognized that Kenya's poor economic performance was primarily due to underperformance of agriculture. Agriculture's contribution to employment, to incomes, foreign exchange, cost of living, and industrialization has two related implications. One, neglecting to invest in agriculture deprives the economy of a tremendous opportunity to grow steadily, increasing unemployment, poverty, and inequality. Two strategic interventions in agriculture can ignite the national economy and set it on the path to inclusive growth. On my first day in office, I outlined to the nation the hard times and difficult choices we faced, as well as the respective costs and benefits of policies at the time and the strategies proposed in our agenda. It was clear that low agricultural productivity was not only raising the cost of living, but also driving poverty among millions whose livelihoods are connected to agriculture. And I have said 70% of all employment is from the agricultural sector with its linkages in manufacturing, value addition, and agro-processing. At the same time, the importation of food items and expenditure on subsidies, including duty waivers, were depleting our foreign exchange and exerting severe budgetary pressure without attacking the fundamental productivity problem. We were living dangerously and beyond our means. I therefore propose to retire the prevailing policy of subsidizing consumption in favor of subsidizing production. Instead, we started investing in agriculture, the country's biggest employer, largest contributor to our GDP, and the mainstay of all our rural communities and economies. The strategic objective of this intervention was to facilitate all Kenyan farmers to transform their production from a futile struggle for meager subsistence, which comprises brief moments of food availability, followed by long periods of scarcity, malnutrition, and poverty. Instead, we transform this to surplus production, food security, and sustainable incomes.